Hello, this is Geo. Hey, look what I have here. I got a package from Xfinity. And so what's in the box? Well, it is a brand new Xfinity X5 Gateway modem. This one is the third generation Gateway. It is the XB7. And so in the box, you do get a little instruction card here. You get a power supply plug-in cable. You get an ethernet cable and you also get a coax cable. So I do keep my old modem in uh, my basement, kind of on a shelf here. And this is the XB6. You may have a different modem or not even a modem at all. And this might be your first modem that you're installing. But for, for me, I just want to disconnect everything, uh, starting with the power supply here. And then just connect all the cables, including I have a little uh, landline phone connection there, a couple of ethernet lines. And then the coaxial cable that brings the actual Comcast signal and internet into my home. So here's a side to side comparison to the new XB7 and my old XB6 modem. Again, you may not have this particular modem, but what I like about the new one is if I kind of turn these things around. And so from the back, you can see what I really like about this is that the new one has four ethernet ports. And these are the 2.5 uh, gigabytes per second data through uh, ports. The old one, which are only gigabyte ports, only had the two. Uh, these are the, for the phone line. This has the one input for the phone line. Of course, you have the coax cable input there, coax cable input and then you have uh, the power supply, power supply. One uh, really neat thing that I like is that you can kind of tell right here, this is a little reset button right here and it's much more accessible than the XB6 where you had to put maybe a um, little pencil or a pin or something in this little hole to reset it. So it's a little more easy to reset it if you need to reset the unit. Also, not only is this a faster unit, but I believe that the Wi-Fi range, the built-in Wi-Fi, is farther, uh, has more distance capability than the XB6. So let's go ahead and hook up the new modem. Okay, so we're all ready to hook up the new unit. So we'll just turn this thing around. And I'm uh, going to uh, plug in the power supply last. I have a little uh, outlet right here. Uh, I have two ethernet cables. This one actually uh, goes to a switch, so I have multiple landlines for that one. And then this is just an independent one. So we'll go ahead and hook up uh, the coax cable that provides the input uh, from Comcast, the cable and internet, and also the phone line. In this case, all comes into the home via this uh, coax coaxial cable. We'll go ahead and uh, screw that in right here. There you go. And then we'll go ahead and plug in the first ethernet cable, which I'll just stick in right here. It's hard to do this with one hand. And then the second ethernet cable. Again, it doesn't really matter which uh, port you install these on. Again, you have four uh, plugins for the ethernet right there. And then the, the uh, landline phone line right here. Just like that. So coaxial cable, two ethernet cables, and the phone line. And then lastly, the power supply. And after you plugged in the power supply, you should see a little LED light right about here to show that it's actually powering up. It kind of blinks on and off when it's uh, sending out signal. And so now we want to go to our phone app to try to set up our passwords, etc. Now Xfinity makes it really simple to set up your new modem. You want to take your uh, smartphone, either your iPhone or your Android, and go to the app icon and then type in Xfinity. And then you just want to search through the, the available apps until you see the Xfinity app and you want to download that app. So after you've downloaded the Xfinity app, go ahead and open it up. 
and log in to your Xfinity account. If you don't have, already have an Xfinity account, you'll need to make one with an email and then assign a password. And then once you've done that, you could go ahead and proceed with setting up your modem. So I'm not going to go through every step to set up the app, but eventually you're going to get to a window that says time to get your new gateway up and running. So hopefully your app will identify that you do have a new gateway modem. And so what you would just want to do is hit get started and then it'll direct you to a QR code on the bottom of your, your unit. And if you just turn over your unit here, you'll notice that it has a little QR code here. And what uh, your phone will be asking you to do is to, um, first of all, you wanna allow camera access. So go ahead and allow that. And then you'll notice it'll scan that QR code and identify your unit. So after it identifies your unit, just scroll through the menu options and eventually you'll get to a point where it asks you for a Wi-Fi name and password. It's asking you to basically name your Wi-Fi signal that you're gonna use for other devices. So go ahead and name it anything you want and set your unique password. And that is what you're gonna be using to log in with other devices to your Wi-Fi signal. And there you go. That is how you hook up an Xfinity XFi XB7 gateway modem. Well, I hope this video helped you out. And if it did, please hit that like button at the bottom of the screen and even consider subscribing to my channel. I have many more videos to come. Bye-bye.